Hi guys, in this video our Ilona with Natalie is going to cover wheel pose. Stay until the end of the video because she's going to cover some very important alignments and engaging things that you want to make sure that you know when practicing this asana. So we'll cover wheel pose, also known as upward bow pose. So to go into this pose, please start laying down on your back, having both of your knees bent and having the hips distance apart between your feet. What's another option is to calculate the distance between um, your heels and your sitting bones by using your hands. So you can just touch the, exactly the heels with your fingers. Once you have calculated this, you can bring both of your hands near your ears. Elbows are pressing back, shoulders, fingers are looking down. So they're looking in direction of your heels. Once you have this, it's important that you're pressing back with your elbows. Once you have done this, please press on your feet and allow the hips to come up. And then we transition onto the head. If this is enough, we stay here. Keep pressing your elbows back and your hands on the floor so you don't compress on your neck. If you can and you want to go higher, you can press on your arms and allow the hips to come higher and the heart to open. So Natalie is doing it beautifully here because she is quite open in her chest, as you can see. We're really focusing on pressing the heart forward and the knees back. So it's important to have your knees looking back and not opening to the side. So like bow pose, they usually want to open to the side, but it's important that you keep them very straight. Your knees are pressing forward your heart is pressing on the opposite direction and this is how you're able to keep the balance of this position. To exit the position, please bring your chin to your chest first and allow the upper spine to come down very gently on your mat and then very gently like a wave rolling vertebrae after vertebrae to come back down. Nice option to bring both of your knees towards your chest and allowing yourself to have a little lower back massage if you wish to. Feel free to take your time to get into this position. It's a quite advanced pose as it requires a lot of opening in your heart as well as having a lot of engagement in your abs in order to support your lower back and not compress the lumbar spine. So take your time and slowly, slowly we build into it. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the video. Now, if you want to learn everything about over 80 different asanas, along with other content as well, we have created an amazing course called Play Pause Yoga. Click on the link below and get your free trial today. And if you haven't gotten it yet, this is the Play Pause B deck. This will help you create your own sequences and construct your own self-practice, letting you be more focused and deepen your own practice. So I will leave the link for this one also below and I wish you a wonderful day.